How's it everyone? This is Local Hole, and in today's video, we're going to be crafting a cast on crit bow specifically for Palstron's cast on crit build. However, this method is pretty similar for most cast on crit builds that use a bow. So, first thing we need to talk about is our base. I've actually already recorded this video, I'm re recording it because things uh, there was stuff on the screen, I have to redo it, but this is the bow that we are going for. So, plus one socket of gems, spell damage, which comes from Essence of Woe, and then increased critical strike chance, and then we're going to multi-mod the rest. How do we get these mods? All right, let's have a look. First things first, let's just talk about the bases. So you can get cheap-ish bases like this on a spine bow. Spine bow has got very good base crit, so it's a good base. However, you can get ones with synthesized implicits like spell damage, fire damage. Palstron actually said I should mention other things like critical strike multiplier, base attack speed, and base crit are also good. The really good ones and the really expensive ones are going to be ones like chance to deal double damage with spells, plus one level of socketed support gems, and enemies have a chance to explode. But for the cheap ones like this, increased spell damage, this only cost me about, I pay between five and 60 chaos for these. They might be a bit more expensive after Palstron's video comes out. All right, first things first, we've got to get this guy up to at least 28% quality. We're going to use these perfect fossils. These are going to roll the quality from between 15 and 30%. So let's see, 22%, these each cost about 14 chaos, so... 27% annoying. We do want to hit 28% because we're going to go for a, a bench enchant that gives us increased crit per quality. 23. Please don't make me go out and buy more of these. 26. 26. And we need to go... Oh no! We got it. Perfect. Whew. Got it in the nick of time. So, we have our base. Now, what's the next step? Next step is the potentially really painful part. What we're going to do is we're going to use Essence of Woe to get percent increased spell damage until we get tier 1 critical strike chance. This is about a 1 in 34 chance. You can buy 41 or 42 Essence of Woe for a Divine. In the last video, the one that I hit this, I hit it first time. It was really ridiculous. So, we're going to do this. And then the thing that's not fun is that once we do hit that crit, we need to annul down. So we just have the two mods. Crit multi. Some people, if you're playing a cost and crit build, will go for crit multi. Instead of crit strike chance, they might also start with a fracture, which makes it a lot easier. But then you miss out on that implicit crit multi. Critical strike chance. Let's just type that in. Increased critical strike chance. There we go. Just so it highlights when we hit it. Yeah, the last time I did this, I literally hit it on the first essence and then I annulled it down to two mods with two annuls. So it was also a bit unrealistic. There we have crit chance, but it's tier five. Tier five again. Tier 5 again. Here we have tier 5 again. So this, this is the worst part of the craft. Once we get past this, it is 100% deterministic. So there we go. We got tier 1 crit chance. Now we need to do the fun bit of annulling it down. So we have to save it. Oh, okay. All right. This tier 1 crit multi. Here we have tier 3 crit chance. Hopefully we don't need to go out. There we go. All right, nice. And it's only four mods, please. We lost the spell damage. Three. I'm actually glad that this is more realistic than the last one. The last one was obnoxious. I might add that as like a unlisted video. Additional arrow. There's crit multi, here's crit chance, here three. 
Here we have tier one again, but oh my goodness, this is gonna be the the most epic annul streak if we hit it. We have hit it. One. We okay, one more. We've done it. Look at that. We're so talented. All right. Well, now the next is like I said, 100% deterministic. So, what we need to do now is we're gonna go to the crafting bench. We're going to do can have up to three crafted modifiers, two divines. Then we're gonna go cannot roll attack mods like this. Cannot roll attack mods. And now our suffixes are completely full. We cannot roll attack modifiers, and the only prefix we can hit that doesn't have the attack mod is plus one level of socketed gems. So now we have our prefixes sorted. And now the rest, we just go three crafted mods. Well, we actually have to go remove crafted mods. Then we're going to go three crafted mods like that. And then you're going to go level of socketed support gems. I will show you how to get this if you don't have it quickly at the end of the video. Plus two level of socketed support gems. And we're going to go attack speed. Ta-da. We have done it. Oh, and very nice roll in the attack speed. So here is our bow. Only other thing we need to do now is grab some of these life force. And we're going to go crit quality. So 1% crit chance per four quality. That's why we wanted to hit that 28% break point. And there we go. Our bow is done. Obviously, we need a six link it and six socket it. Not very interesting content, so we won't be doing that now. But let's give this guy a little bit of a price check. I know that these sell for about 14 divines, maybe a bit more with this implicit, but let's go 123. This is the, the lowest roll of Shrieking Essence of Woe. And then we're going to go Socketed Gems, Socketed Support Gems. You can see this is five divines, but it doesn't take into account the attacks per second or the crit strike chance. So we want to put in this base crit. This will probably bring up things like spine bows. Let's just whip up this trade site and see what shows up. So we have this one here. This is a very nice base. It has the spell damage and fire damage to spell. So I can see why they're trying to get 45 divines for it, but that feels a little bit excessive. Let's see what else there is. There's this one, nine divines, but it doesn't have any implicit. This one is mine. For some reason, I'm showing offline 14 divines. And then we have the 45 divine one and the 100 divine. This is one of those implicits I was talking about that's extremely high value. But the base alone is extremely expensive. So 14 divines is kind of the going rate for these guys. Maybe a little bit more or less depending on the implicit you have. But I sold one last night for 14 divines. And they usually, I think on average, costs about that much to make, maybe a little bit less, depending on your luck. Let me quickly show you how to get that plus two level of socketed support gems craft. So we can search for, I guess we can search for bows, and then we're going to search Katarina's Veiled. Remember, you can always use this little tilde. It's a little button next to your one button. Shift that, and you can do fuzzy search. So we've got Katarina's Veiled. Now, any of these items that you search for will have the potential to unveil that modifier. So I'm going to see if this dude replies. All right. So we have one of these bows. I, it doesn't actually have to be a bow, but, you know, I got a bow. So this one is great because it has an open prefix and the veiled modifier we, we want. So what we can do is block physical damage. I don't have any alts because of another crafting project. So we're going to block physical damage, which means we cannot unveil that. Take it over to Jun, unveil, and we should have a pretty good chance to unveil it. We didn't get it now. I mean, I've already unveiled it, but that's the process. You want to just look for that Katarina's Veiled and then buy some items like that until you get it. But this is the bow. So I'm going to link Palstron's video in the description. I'm going to wait for his video to come out before I release this. So if you want to check out his build, it's linked in the description. This is how you make the boat. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Stay safe. Catch you later. Bye bye.